Hello beautiful friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley and I'm a stay at home mom of two boys. I am very passionate about budgeting, saving money, and living within my means. My goal is just to encourage others on their financial journey. So, all right, um, I wanted to really make this video just to showcase how to set up the cash envelope system. I don't believe that there is really one right way to do it. This is just the method that I believe is gonna work for my family. Uh, believe it or not, until just yesterday, my family has been cash stuffing in regular paper envelopes that you could pick up at like Walmart or the Dollar Tree. We've been doing that for quite some time and so we've been cash flowing for these types of binders because they are more aesthetically pleasing but don't feel as though you can't do this unless you have like pretty binders. So these are the four binders that I have. I'm gonna use this one for my fixed variable expenses, the high priority sinking funds, uh, low priority sinking funds, and then uh, the other one for savings challenges. So what I wanted to do first was to kind of write like a list of the fixed or variable expenses that I will need to label the certain envelopes in these binders. Um, so to start, I believe that the best method is just to create a list. And so for the fixed variable expenses, for my family, of course, these are gonna change depending upon your lifestyle and what your bills are. We do have some bills like electricity, phone bill, car, rent insurance, that we do keep in the bank because they are auto-drafted. So when we do take cash out, we just take them out for these specific bills that we can pay in cash. We don't have a mortgage, we do rent, and so we pay our landlord in cash and so we do end up cash stuffing our rent. That's not something that's auto-drafted. But hopefully, within the next year, we will have a mortgage. So with the fixed expenses for us, we are going to need an envelope for rent, an envelope for gas, an envelope for groceries, um, household, because we do separate household from groceries, just like toilet paper, shampoo, conditioner, stuff like that. Um, Pull-ups and wipes because I do have two boys. I have a five-year-old and a three-year-old. My five-year-old is potty trained completely, like even through the night, but our three-year-old is working on potty training right now. And so we do still need that category. Hopefully not for long though. Uh, my husband's personal his name is Jordan, so J for him and H for my personal. Then giving and kindness. And um, boys, Taekwondo. Ooh, am I spelling it wrong? Yes, there we go. I think I did that right. They are not currently in Taekwondo but we are cash saving to hopefully have them enrolled within the next month or two. Um, the place we're looking at is like $140 a month for both kiddos. I don't know if that is cheap or expensive, but the owner is just so, so kind and so nice. And he does such a thorough job that, you know, that's something that we are, we're choosing to do for them. Our boys envelope for their wants, needs, if they need like socks or a new sippy cup or, um, you know, haircuts, stuff like that. So we have a family fun, eating out, date night. When grandma watches the kiddos, that's when we get date nights, so it kind of fluctuates. Sometimes we get two nights out of the month, sometimes only one, but we take what we can get, so we end up normally just rolling money over. And then when we do have date night, like tonight, 
which I'm filming on a Saturday night and uh, my kiddos are at their grandma's and uh, I should be spending time with my hubby but uh, I, I, need I needed to do this and plus it's so much easier to focus on business related stuff or school because I'm in college um, when they're not here so uh, we have a date night then a business um, I called a business account I actually don't make money but I am starting YouTube, I do have Instagram, I have TikTok, and um, a Facebook page, and then I am launching a website here shortly. Um, and so, although I'm not making an income, I do intend on saving for those types of things to hopefully, you know, because I just started out, to hopefully at some point, you know, take off or something of that nature make an income so makeup and beauty that's the same category that's for me clothing for the whole family and school again I'm in college and then I have a five-year-old who'll be starting kindergarten this year and then a three-year-old who we do workbook related stuff at home because I do stay at home with him drinks now <laughs> I know I'm spilling that funny, but this is how my husband, he's like, you got to spill it, drinks. <laughs> so, um, drinks, we do drink um, occasionally, my husband and I, and then we also sometimes, you know, get like sodas or whatnot, or when we host or anything of that nature, we do get drinks. And then miscellaneous. And I know this is a lot. This is all of them for fixed variable expenses, but this is what works for us and you might not need this many or you might have twice as many it's completely up to you it's completely what works for you this is all about making this work for your own lifestyle your own situation it's not about copycat anybody there's no one-size-fits-all method it doesn't work that way there are many ways to do stuff there's many ways to even you know, save money, budget, without having to cash stuff. This is just what works for me. So I truly believe that you should do what works for you. So this is, I should probably count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Of course it wouldn't be an even number. That would be too hard. It would be too easy. So 19 of those. And then we will move on to... High priority sinking funds. Boop. And taxes is one of them. This is actually something that's new. My husband's company changed him from hourly to more of a commission based. Um, and so he is making a little bit more, which I'm super, super thankful for. But I do believe we will end up having to pay in in taxes. Now we've never had to pay in before. So this will be a new thing. So I'm just putting money and allocating it to an envelope for that just in case. If for some reason we don't have to, then we can just roll that over to something else that we're saving for. Um, six month emergency fund. We followed um, Dave Ramsey Financial Peace University a couple of years ago and we are completely debt free we don't follow him completely anymore again I don't believe there's a one-size-fits-all everybody's lifestyle is different do what works for you end of story but I do like his take on the emergency fund and so for our family he suggests the three to six month emergency fund we feel comfortable sitting at a six month emergency fund we are not there right now we are slowly working our way there um, home savings because we are hoping to purchase a home within the next year or a year and a half and so who knows who knows things always pop up car savings we have a 2005 and a 2008 car and um, each one of them have between 150 and 165,000 miles, so they still have life to them. So we're not 
you know, we're not knocking them at all. We just want to make sure that we're saving so when the time comes, we can purchase a new to us vehicle. Then we have car maintenance. I'm abbreviating that. Uh, medical, for any uh, medical expenses that pop up, co-pays, new glasses, y'all know the drill. It's always, always something. <laughs> Uh, then we have Christmas, birthdays, I'm thinking, uh, ninth wedding anniversary. My husband and I will be celebrating, I'm abbreviating that as well, our ninth wedding anniversary in August, and it flies by, it really, really does. Okay, so I believe that's all for high priority. That gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, yes. Love an even number. There we go. And I, we should have room. Let me put a line here. Um, and that's uneven. Low priority sinking funds. And we have my husband's project. He has something he's saving for, we call it his project. Halloween, Mother's Day, let's see, of course Father's Day, that's coming up. Oh, and speaking of Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day to all you mamas out there. Happy Mother's Day. I don't know if you're gonna see this on Sunday or later tonight, I'm not sure, but happy Mother's Day. We work so hard, we work so hard. And I just want you to know that I see you, I feel you, I'm there. <laughs> some days are great, it's a beautiful thing to be a mom, but some days the struggle is real, okay? So, but happy Mother's Day, you guys. Um, we've got the 4th of July, or Independence Day, Valentine's Day, New Year's, and Easter. Y'all don't mind my handwriting. My sister, she has the most beautiful handwriting and I got like what looks like a doctor's handwriting. Okay, so I think that's it. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Yay, another even one. All right, I think that about does it. I know we have a binder for savings challenges, but We'll get to that in a minute. We're gonna focus on these first. So with that being said, let me take this listy here. And that's not gonna bend because that's new. Let us start. Let us let us begin. Ooh. So we've got the fixed variable expenses binder. I'm gonna use the brown one for this. And this this binder or all these binders came with these to label them yourself, uh, which is super, super cool. They also came with these, which I think are just so pretty um, that you can use that already pre-made. And then it came with these budget sheet trackers, um, which I think are super, super nifty. I'm not sure if this is something that's going to work for us per se, but I am going to set them to the side. These are not something I'm used to using. Like I said, we've been stuffing in just like plain paper envelopes for quite a while. And so um, I'm not used to keeping these up. I'm used to, I'm a, I'm a very big paper person in terms of like big notebooks and keeping track like that. So I'm going to set these over here for now. And first off, let's get just to labeling. I guess that'll be the first thing to do. So, um, first we need 19 envelopes in here. So I might have to pull some of these from some of these other binders. Definitely the savings challenge one, because I know we won't need that many. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's what I thought. I figured all of them came with 10. So I'm going to pull, um, whoopsie daisy. I'm going to pull nine from here, but I don't make a mess first. Let me set these over here for now. And I'm just all over the place. 
all but one has to be put because they should come with 10 each. So let's do that. We'll have to fix this later when we get to that one as well. Um, all right. This one is gonna be a little bit more full, but this method is what I believe is gonna work for us just to have everything kind of together. So, because my husband has access to these as well, these are not just for me to do. He is more than welcome to come and go as he pleases. This is our money, our budget, our finances. So I wanna make sure that everything is categorized together so that it's easily accessible, not just to me, but to him as well. Um, that's important to me. So there we go. Now we have our list here. So that is what I'm going off of. I just have it set over here for now, but I'm hopefully going to find some of these because I do want to use some of these if I can um, to kind of gauge if we have any that we need. So um, income, electric, savings, utilities, bills, birthday, dining out, Shopping, insurance, transportation, <laughs> that's kind of a fancy term for it. We're going to take um, transportation off. You know, I think it ripped. Do they have gas over here? Okay, there's gas. Okay, perfect. This is more at my alley. This one looks more about right for me. So we are going to take gas. I must stick it on my hand to make it easier. Food. Boom. Groceries. Um, and let's do um, housing. Would that be? We can use that as rent. Do that. Housing. That's cute. Clothing. I know some of y'all's anxiety are probably like, what is she doing? This works for me. <laughs> okay, so I kind of want to do these in order. So this one will be rent. So let's do housing here, which works. So cute. Maybe I should have taken these out to do them. Y'all are literally doing this with me. I prepped it like a little bit. Like I took everything out of the Am like Amazon box and all that stuff. But I didn't really like get any of my ducks in a row before I started this. We have gas. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You're going to have to work for me. There we go. We have groceries. Okay. This will be household pull ups and wipes. My husband's personal. My personal giving and kindness, my children's taekwondo, boys wants needs, um, family fun, which could be entertainment. Which, that's kind of a fancier term of saying family fun. Okie dokie. There we go. And eating out, so that's going to be food. Date night, business, makeup, beauty. Here we go. And y'all. I put $5 a week in makeup beauty. That'll tell you how much you need to know about me. I don't do my makeup every day, and I'm just, I, I like minimal nails. I have two young kids. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I'm in college full-time finishing my bachelor's degree right now, and now I'm doing this, and I, this is something I enjoy. This is for fun, um, and so I don't really need a whole lot when it comes to that. Clothing. And let's see, we've got school, drinks, and miscellaneous. Okay, I don't think, 
I'm going to use any of these right now. Oh, there's rent on this one, you guys. I'm pretty sure one of y'all saw that and y'all were like, what is she doing? <laughs> I'm not trying to pull this off because I don't know if it will. Maybe I should. I'm not sure if it'll come off or not. And I just don't want to ruin it or leave that sticky adhesive behind. That is, these things stick. I'll be leaving that for now. But, yeah, I think I'm going to set this over here and then I'm going to create the rest that we need so we have gas we have groceries we need household so we will do household i know we're going to need like pull-ups and wipes okay let's put those on there the next two just did that. I don't know, I just smudged both of those. Okay. We can't all be perfect here, okay? That, that I'm not. J personal and H personal. Let's see, J personal, H personal, what do we have after that? Giving and kindness and boys taekwondo. That's one of the many reasons that we paid off debt is so that we are able to be generous to some degree. We, we were very, very generous. The year after, I'm sorry, the same year we paid off the debt, when we completed our debt payoff, it was so nice. Um, that for that Christmas, we cash flowed an additional $600 on top of what we would have over, like normally spent on Christmas. And my husband got 300 and I got 300. And the goal was to just bless people. I gave a $100 tip at a restaurant to the sweetest, sweetest, like um, a restaurant server and she was pregnant and she cried and then I cried because you know, <laughs> you know. And we just did so much. It's, it's just so nice to be able to give. We did buckle down a little bit because especially my husband, he is a super big giver. He has got the biggest heart. He will give the shirt off his back, the shoes off his feet. And so we have to be really mindful, especially now that we're saving for a home because that's so expensive. I don't know where y'all live. We live in Florida. <laughs> and we need, we're looking at homes, you know, we're gauging around the $200,000 mark, which I know is not a lot for a lot of people, or it seems like a lot to some people. It kind of just depends where you live. Here in Florida, that does not do you a big home. It does not get you a big home. However, that is what we feel is manageable for us. But in order to do that, between the closing costs and the down payment, it's we need like $16,000 saved up. Ooh, so we are on a mission. And so with that being said, we kind of have had to buckle down a little bit when it comes to giving. So there's that. And then we need... Taekwondo. Boys wants needs. Taekwondo boys wants needs entertainment. Eating out. We need date night. Business. Date night. Business. So those of you that are coming across this video, is cash stuffing something that you do? 
is this something that you're interested in doing? Is this something you know, that intrigues you that you're just kind of curious about? Um, I kind of want to know. And I know that this can come across as kind of like basic and maybe probably a little boring, but honestly, whenever I'm coming across these videos, when I first started doing this, there wasn't as many people or influence as there, influencers as there are now. And you know, you see everybody cash stuff and you see them getting their weekly envelopes full of, you know, their money and they're sitting here in their cash stuff. And, but sometimes you just need like a refresh, like, whoa, how do we even begin? How do we make this, how do we simplify this for our lifestyles? Because everybody's budget is different. Everybody's needs are different. And so I kind of just slowed things down here. And although it's not, um, you know, it's not, it's kind of boring to, to some degree. I just wanted to make sure that, you know, if anybody needed a little inspiration on how to do this or how to go about doing this, that you had it. So, I'm doing that here. And it does not have to be perfect for me. Like, if there's smudge marks or if the, the labels don't match up, that's just not my life. Um... <laughs> It used to be before I had children. I liked everything to be a certain type of way. But now with kids, like especially boys, like if you know, you know, hello. <laughs> it's, it's not like that sometimes. Okay, so we need school and as my husband calls it, drinks. He said you gotta put an exclamation part, point at the end of it, so. Shout out to you, babe. There you go. I got you an exclamation point. Okie dokie. So this binder is all set up and done. So now it's just about determining what your budget is like and what you can allocate to each of these envelopes on a weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly basis depending on how you get paid. So we're going to set that bad boy right there. We're gonna take this and flip the page and we're gonna to go to high priority sinking funds and I'm gonna set this back over here and I'm probably going to use the, both of the blue ones for high and low um, priority sinking funds just because that'll make more sense to me. This needs 10 and there's already 10 in there. So that's perfect. And we're just gonna take this out like last time. Again, I'm gonna set Sorry, I'm gonna set the um, budget sheets to the side and take a peek see at these. Um, these are just, I don't know if these are gonna have anything to do with these. Mm. I don't know. Car maintenance, medical, Christmas, birthdays. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm just going to write all these out and make it just a little bit, a little bit easier. I'm going to set these over here. I don't know. I just kind of like, those are super cute and I know they're more like aesthetically pleasing, but to me, these make more sense. Um, just writing out, like basically just writing out what I've written on here. Okay. So let's do, we've got taxes, the fun one. Yay for taxes. Six month emergency fund got home savings that's gonna take a minute but you know step by step little by little you know what's that quote small steps equal big footprints or something of that nature is that right small steps create big footprints <laughs> maintenance. I'm going to abbreviate that. We've got medical, Christmas, birthdays, ninth wedding anniversary, and Now, to be honest, 
we don't really prioritize vacations or we haven't. And because we always say, well, you know, there's no need to take a vacation this year. We need to save for this. Or there's no need to take, you know, to, you know, go, go on a trip or a little getaway for our wedding anniversary. We've got this. There's always something in life that pops up. And what I found with cash stuffing, because when we were on our debt payoff journey, we didn't cash stuff. This is something that we started several months back. It hasn't even been like a full year of doing this. It's a lot easy. In my opinion, it's a lot easier to go, okay, I know there's always things that pop up. There's always going to be something to save for. Some bill that comes in, you know, something that happens. But even if it's only $5 a week that you can put in here or a dollar, like that adds up over time and life should not just be working, being a mom, being a dad and paying bills. And that's a very important thing that I've had to learn is that there's more to it than just that. It's not all about savings. Money comes and goes, but I want to like enjoy my family and spend time with them and be present with them on vacations and on our wedding anniversary. Like, I don't know. I know I'm going on a little tangent, but I feel like it's so easy as parents, especially, you know, and like right now in society where inflation's high to not prioritize anything other than bills and savings but I feel like if you can't afford it, and if you can't, I feel you, I've been there. We've been there. A lot of us have been there. There's a way out of it in most cases. And I just want to give you some encouragement, some positive vibes, some hopes and prayers that it is possible to climb out of a hole. I've seen many people do it. I've heard many stories and so I just want to say that, you know, for those of you who don't take time to prioritize, like enjoying yourself, if you're like me and you're just like, pay the bills, save, who needs to go on a trip, who needs to, you know, have a big Christmas or whatever, if that's important to you, then make it work for you, even if it's just a dollar here or there. Okay, so we have our high priority savings and this will be the low priority savings and I need to use these up right here first. I've got just some random ones sitting here. I have so many of these left over. I wish I could just hand them to you through the video, like here, or even these since I'm probably not going to use them. Here you go. You could have those if they'd work for you. Okie dokie. Low priority. Again, I'm just using this notebook that I set over here and I'm following off of here and it looks like we have eight. So I can actually pull out two from here, which is gonna be great because I'm gonna put these in the savings challenges. I'm gonna set these to the side and put these in the savings challenge binder. Okie dokie. We've got J Project. We have got Halloween, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Fourth of July, Valentine's Day, New Year's, and Easter. I don't know why I'm acting like they have to go in any particular order. They really truly don't. Uh, not on this low priority one at least. me. 
So if y'all haven't checked out Someone Budgets, S-U-M, number one, Budgets, it's all together. She just started her YouTube channel and she is so sweet and so encouraging. And I really recommend that you check her out if you need another take or viewpoint on how to, you know, cash stuff because she does it too. I actually found her through Instagram. She posted on Instagram and said, my first video is coming out. And I was like, oh my gosh, she's starting around like the same week I am. And so I was like super excited. So I reached out to her and she is super, super sweet. So I just want to send some love her way. All right. So now we have the low priority and then this will be savings challenges. So I'm going to take this and close this and set this to the side for now. Ooh. Okay. And we'll take this one here and put these in here. And this one is all about savings, which I love. I love, I love, I love. But to be honest, saving can get kind of boring when you're looking at big numbers like purchasing a home or a car. It can, do, or like even building a six month emergency fund. So I wanted to find some like challenges. So I found this money savings challenge book on Amazon. And they've got some really fun ones in here. This one comes with 120, yes, 120 pages. And it's for different in like different types. This one says low income. However, they also have bigger numbers in here. There's like $500 in 100 days. Um, there's one. That was a big one. $2,500 in 100 days. So, but there's also like dollar challenges, $5 challenges. This is really cool. I like this. But I've already been through here. And going through here, I found a few that I like. So I've got four here, but I've got three envelopes. So I'm going to pick the three that I want to start out doing. And we've got $450 in 30 days. I kind of wanted to do a bigger one. And I kind of wanted to do a small one. This one is filling the dots. This I'm going to make, oh, this I'm going to make a dollar. So... We've got this $450 in 30 days. So this is gonna be our larger one. And then we're gonna do the fill in the dots with it, like a dollar savings challenge with all the extra dollars. And then I couldn't pick $200 in two weeks or money bingo. But staring at it now, I think I'm gonna go with money bingo because that just looks a little bit more fun. And set that to the side. And these are the three that I'm gonna be doing. So I'm just gonna kind of fold these or set these in this binder and that's how I'll do this. And so each week, uh, my husband gets paid bi-weekly, but I go to the bank and I basically divide his check into two because for me, I am a visual person. I'm a hands-on person. And so taking the money out every week and doing this keeps me accountable. You know, it's for some reason, I end up not spending as much in certain categories. And so there's more rollover this way. And so this is the best way for me to stay on top of it is to do it weekly. And so these will just be like weekly savings challenges if there's anything left over. So with, I'm going to set this right here for now, but I'm going to kind of wrap this up. But with these, I just want to say that some weeks, again, my husband doesn't make salary. He makes more of like a commission based hourly. Um, and so some weeks are bigger than others. So this is why I have these in a specific way. You have the fixed variable expenses. We have some bills auto drafted and then the things that we use that we live, you know, month to month or week to week. Then we have the high priority savings, which comes next. So whenever we get paid, we stuff the fixed one and variable expenses first, then stuff the high priority, then the low priority. If there's nothing left after high priority, then the low priority doesn't get stuffed. And if there's nothing left for savings challenges, then the savings challenges don't get filled and that's okay. It's just taking it week by week and doing what you can with what you've got. So I just want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, ooh, real quick. I'm not, I'm not going to do this one. I feel like this video is super, super long. But I purchased this and this is actually super cute because it came from a small business. It says, thank you so much. When you shop from a small business, you support a big dream. And the business is called Soul Mama. 
and this is just going to be a wallet binder for some of my personal and groceries expenses and stuff so yeah it's super cute um it's kind of the same method you just stuff what you need that you need to carry around with you that'll work in your wallet i have a wallet now and i've been using a wallet for a long time but sometimes the money can get kind of mixed in and so i felt like this would be a way more organized way of doing it and so i'm going to do it this way from here on out but I've done it in a wallet before. You don't need fancy stuff to do this. You don't need fancy stuff to budget. Well, thank you so much, guys. I'll see you later.